Hey you guys, Lock.Zip here, and today I am playing on the Legends of Illyria server. And uh, yeah, today is a Vlog.Zip about a very serious topic that uh, kind of hits real home for me. It's very personal, and I really want you to listen to it, but uh, not before that intro rolls. So yes, as always, I will just be flying around this server. The IP for it will be in the description of this video if you choose to check it out. Uh, but yeah, I only need you really to listen. Don't feel like you want to watch. Don't feel like you need to watch, but uh, do listen because this is one that, uh, is, again, like I said, very important to me. Uh, today is the last upload that I have going up. Uh, that will be going up before I leave on my trip to PAX for one week. Um, the next seven days, I will be up in Seattle hanging out with Adam, Team Crafted, and various other Minecraft YouTubers that you know and love, especially me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I will be gone for seven to eight days. I won't really be on YouTube or anything. Rest assured, I recorded a bunch of stuff for you guys to keep watching and enjoying, and I hope that you do. And uh, I also ask that you, in my absence, please continue to leave your feedback and your ratings and all these things. You know, I'm leaving my YouTube in your hands while I'm gone for a week. So I hope to come back and uh, nothing's blown up or anything. But the point of this video is it kind of hit me that um, I'm leaving you guys for a, a week straight. And uh, it's been a long time since I've taken a break that long from YouTube, been gone from, that, from the computer for that long. And um, I'll tell you this, I spend a lot of my time on the computer uh, talking with my friends that I've made, be it from Minecraft or RuneScape or, you know, whatever other games I've played over the years. And, you know, I've had my YouTube for, gosh, I want to say six or seven years now, and I've been making videos for a large part of that. I've actually, I actually made RuneScape videos for longer than I've made Minecraft videos so far. I did RuneScape for like four or five years, and you know, I, I, I made a lot of friends on that game, and I think the reason I have such a close dedication and ties and love for YouTube is because, um, you know, as a kid, I, 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 I always had trouble making friends, and, you know, a lot of that was due to the fact that I would move a lot. My family was constantly on the move, what with my mother's job and switching between living with my mother and at one point with my father in Nevada. I probably moved a total of like 14 or 15 times in my entire life since childhood. And I went to eight different schools, not counting college, um, from from preschool up to high school. I, I've attended eight different schools. And the area I currently reside in, that's like unheard of for my friends. They all went to the same elementary school, followed by the same middle school, followed by the same high school. And for most of them, I'm, I've over doubled the amount of schools they've attended to. And, you know, it kind of sucks because all of the friends I had from my childhood, I really have no connections with them anymore. I don't talk to any of them anymore. All of my current friends, which I love and they're awesome, I met most of them like in eighth grade. And so I don't really have any communication with my old ones. And, you know, that combined with the fact that, you know, I was kind of a weird kid or, you know, I was always, I was really big into video games. And then when I finally got one into the computer and I spent a lot of my time on the computer playing, you know, video games or whatever. Like I said, I played RuneScape. Uh, I don't play it anymore, but it was it's like an MMO RPG. It's like kind of like World of Warcraft. It's, you know, got skills and stuff to train. And, you know, I played that a lot. And, you know, the fact that I moved so much and I was kind of awkward as a kid meant that, you know, I didn't really have that many friends and I felt weird around them. And, you know, I spent a lot of time on message boards as well. I used to post a lot on this website called Pro Boards. But I digress. It's just... Growing up, I just didn't have that many friends in real life, and it made me kind of form an attachment to the computer, an unhealthy one for a very long time. Um, you know, I would have problems with my family. Everyone's got fa family problems. I'm not trying to say I'm the only one with him, but I'll say this much. You know, there was always fighting and stuff, and, you know, I would, I would always run to my computer and to my friends I made online to talk or to, to play the game because it would make me feel better, and you know, I don't know, sometimes I just, I felt lonely, and I would go on the computer, you know, to almost escape my problems, like maybe I had a bad day at school, and things didn't go my way, or, you know, someone made fun of me, or, you know, I didn't do too hot on a test, or, you know, I got in trouble with my mom for something, 
I'd go to the computer and I, you know, I'd play my games, I, or I, you know, I played StarCraft too. Like I, I would just play games, and you know, it, it would help me escape temporarily my problems, and it would just, it would make the pain that I had go away. You know, everything was better. It was like my alternate reality. It was my second life. And what was great about RuneScape for me was, you know, I had all my friends on my little friends list, people, you know, Skype, contact list, whatever it is. They didn't know about my problems. They were always just there, happy to talk to me and tell me what's up. They never had to know about my problems. It was almost just like this own separate world where I could go to, and everything would just be better there. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about what happened in my day. All I would have to worry about is, you know, what dragon I'm going to kill next. And it just, I don't know, it was almost therapeutic for me. And, you know, to this day, I still value my online friends just as much as I do my real friends. And, you know, they've helped me through so many of my problems. I've known, I've known some of my online friends. Um, the one that always comes to mind for me is my friend Gino. I've known him for something like six or seven years. I've known this person online. And I still talk to him to this day. But some, some of my online friends I've known for longer than my real life ones. And I can say for a fact, I definitely have more online friends than I do real life ones in terms of people I, you know, routinely speak to. And, you know, it sucks that they're not there in person, but, you know, they'll always, you know, be a special part of me that, you know, that I can't just get rid of. And I don't know, just the computer. And that's, that's part of the reason I did YouTube, too, is because, like, when I started YouTube, it felt nice to know that someone cared about what I had to say. And it still does. Like, it it warms my heart and it makes me feel better as a person to know that there are people out there that care about me and care about what I have to say and want to make sure that things are great for me. And I think all the same for all of you guys as well. I wish I could... Uh, have it on a more personal level like I used to, but so many of you come to me every single day now, and you know I do my best to re remain friendly and amicable for all of you. But it just it's it's crazy to see you know YouTube and you guys have gotten me through a lot of very dark times in my life that um, I try not to reflect on anymore. I do my best to stay happy these days, and it and it definitely has been working. I, I don't think I've ever really been happier than I have been lately. And I owe a lot of that to you guys. Just, I don't know, I just can't say it enough. It just means so much to know that people care about me and just what I have to say and my well-being. And that's, that's what really just entranced me with YouTube is the ability for me to communicate with all of you. People all over the world. I've gotten messages from people in Australia. England, Netherlands, Singapore, China, Hawaii, Canada, Mexico, Finland, all these different places. Sorry if I didn't mention your country. <laughs> all these different places, all these different people, different walks of life, different names, ages, races, genders, just beliefs. And, and we all have one thing in common, and that's the ability to communicate with one another. And it's just, it blows my mind. And that's really what I love most about YouTube and you know I've quit YouTube and come back so many times and that's what always gets me to come back is I just can't leave you guys it's you're all too big a part of my life for me to just be able to walk away the experiences I've had over the last seven years on this website and with some of you I know some of you are still around still kicking from years back and I appreciate you for sticking around like this it I, I could never leave from it. You guys are literally a part of my life. And I couldn't thank you all enough for it. And um, that's kind of where, where your part comes in. I want to know if you've had any similar experiences to me or feel the same way. What is the computer to you? What is playing Minecraft, playing video games, having online friends mean to you? Like, is it your way to escape your problems in real life? Is it, is it where you go when things suck and just aren't great for you? Do you have a, a close bunch of online friends that you like to play with, play games with, talk to? Maybe there's a cute girl or boy you like that you talk to on here, you type to them or whatever, you share a server or a house on Minecraft or something. You know, if you make videos, do you, do you make them for the same reason? Like, for me, 
I love the feedback. Every I you know, it's been harder lately, but I do my best to try and read every single comment I get. I check I check every single video every single day. You know, I may not respond to them all, but I rest assured I do I do see almost all of them and it's just it's just amazing the way that this website and the internet in general and games gaming, wow. I would never have guessed it when I was younger that video games could bring people together the way they have now and honestly I don't think anyone would have guessed it. The idea of the gaming and YouTube and stuff on a major scale like this, it's a brand new thing and it's so impressive. Uh but back to you, please, just tell me, like, what do you get out of this? Is this your way of relieving stress? Is this your way of, you know, temporarily running from your problems? Don't be embarrassed. Everyone does it. Everyone's run from their problems before. I know I definitely have, and, uh, you know, the computer and the internet was my scapegoat for a lot of my problems that I would just, it'd be my distraction until the problems went away, and, you know, if they didn't, and they were dealt with eventually, but the computer was always there for me to make me feel better and to entertain me, as were you guys. So let me know in a comment, you know, if you've had similar experiences, because I'd love to hear them. This is a very touching and very personal, close part of me that I don't really think a lot of you realize about me, is just how much this means to me. So please let me know. Seriously. And um, again, as I said, like... I'm going to be gone the next week. I don't know how much I'm going to be on the computer. You know, I'm sure I will a little bit. Maybe check in or do be on Twitter or whatever. I got my Twitter. I even got my Instagram. Someone took my Instagram name, log.zib, um, months ago when I wasn't even pl making Minecraft videos anymore. And today I asked him if I could have it, and he gave it to me. So my Instagram, which I just got, is also log.zib. Thank you to... Uh, his name is now Carrot the Potato. Thank you to him for giving that to me. I appreciate that, buddy. You could have very easily kept that, and you chose not to. So I'll be posting on those two things while I'm away. If you want to follow me on those, you'll be able to maybe keep up to date with me. And, uh, yeah, that's that's really about it, guys. Uh, I would appreciate if you left a rating on the video, if you found it insightful or, you know, meaningful for you to listen to. And once again, just please leave your thoughts and comments on what I've said here, and I'd love to hear back from you. But, yeah, that's about it for this vlog. Um... Come back tomorrow, and I'll have a video for you ready. <laughs> um, I will be arriving back home on the 4th of September, so you can keep watching uh, the past until then, but I will be back, and I will see you in the flesh, in person, on the 4th. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks. And it'll load right up, and you'll get the autoplay going and oh, everything. I killed some my most recent video before I put this one. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how am I supposed to enter things into... I will be staying with uh, the man himself, Adam, Sky Does Minecraft. I, as well as a bunch of Team Crafted, and a bunch of other Minecraft YouTubers that aren't part of Team Crafted.